Hey, this is YBR with a quick video tutorial on how to install mods for BeamNG Drive. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you're logged into an account that has BeamNG Drive. You have to own the game in order to get access to the showroom, which is where all the mods are located. Once you do that, you'll have a list of options for what kind of mod you want. Let's say you wanted to install a vehicle, a normal land vehicle. You would click that, which would bring you to this page, and you would find the one you want to install. Now on this page, some say work in progress, beta released, and released. Those are the ones you want to focus on because the other ones like canceled and work in progress, they usually don't have a download link for you to download. The ones that say released and beta released, they do. So let's say, for example, you wanted the 1968 Chevy Nova. So you would click that, which would bring you to this page. And on this page, you're just going to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see attached files. That is the file you want to download to be able to have this vehicle in BeamNG Drive. For terrains, it's pretty much the same procedure. You find one that's under released or work in progress beta released, you'll click it, you'll scroll to the bottom of the page, and then you'll download it. After the mods are fully downloaded, you can then install them. To do that, you're going to first want to go to your documents folder, and the easiest way I know of to get there is to just delete what's in this top bar and type in documents and then hit enter. That will bring you to your documents folder. Then you should have a folder called BeamNG Drive, and you're going to go ahead and open that up, and then you're going to open up the mods folder. Now, some mods are installed very easily where all you do is you copy the zip file and you paste it into here. And that mod is fully installed. Other mods need a little more work. And the easiest way to tell is you put the mod in here and if it works, you're done. If it doesn't work, then you're going to need to do a little more work. For example, the 68 Nova, I believe, will not function if you install it like this. To make that one function, you're going to have to make a vehicles folder because it's a vehicle. And then you copy this file right here and you paste it in the vehicles folder. And once that's done, you can go ahead and remove the 68nova.zip file. And it's a similar story for this map, Baja Rama. You're going to have to copy it and then you're going to put it into a folder called levels. And then it should be fully functional. These two, though, for example, uh, Sulaco Bay and Semi Race, which is the racing truck or the racing big rig, those ones do not need this because they are made in a way that is not required. Another easy way to tell is you open up the zip file. If it says vehicles or levels, you're good to go. You just put in the, the mods folder and it's great. If it doesn't say that, you're probably going to need to manually copy it into the folder that relates to it. And those folders will have to be made, I'm pretty sure, because they're not there by default. Hopefully that'll get you enough information that's uh, needed to install mods. And, and until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.